11 holes. 11 holes? You guys, you did 11 holes all up. One at the tip. One at the one tip, one there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, hopefully. Wait, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, 11, yeah. 11? 11. So we probably could do one or two more, you think? What's the battery at? It's at one. Let's try another one. Let's All right, let's just try one more. We'll see how many we get here. Yeah. Nice. So now we did 11 holes. I'm going to do another hole out there, 12 holes. So what do you think of it? Awesome, man. I mean, seriously, how nice is it to not even have to worry about gas? Starting that up in the cold if you're going to go out ice fishing or whatever. Just battery, sit there and run. You can definitely get a bunch of holes, you know? Yeah, I don't know much about ice fishing, you guys, but I know that I don't think you drill more than 12 holes in a season, a day. Depends how many guys you got going on. Yeah, and if you got tons and of guys that are borrowing like it. Over, you know what I mean? But 12 holes on one battery, yeah. you can actually have one or two more batteries. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. You so know what I'm saying? Extra battery yeah. You, just you don't have gas. You're not polluting the ice. You're not, you Trying know. Trying to start it up. It's cold. Like, oh, it's not starting. The gas is all gelled right. up or whatever. Right. So overall, I think it's pretty cool, man. From Home Depot, from Ryobi, I was pretty impressed with the power. Um, the only thing I would say is when you're wearing gloves like I had on, the, the, the handles were slippery. Did you find the handle slippery? You have grips on yours, so probably not. No, I mean, it wasn't too bad, you know? Yeah. I do like how you have this in there. I mean, the padding over here would be nice on this side, but I guess this is where it's turning. Oh, yeah, to you know? hold on to you. I mean, now whether you're supposed to stand there or not, probably not. But when I did and it did grab, it came away from me anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not like it's, it's not like where it's a drill and it, like, rocked your hand, you know? Right, right. All right, did you bring your swimsuit? Because we're going boating. Let's do it, man. Let's go. All right, we're going to go water skiing, you guys. So check out these geese coming at shoveling. us. Let me just Check out these geese. They're going water skiing too. All right, you guys. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, let us know what you guys think of this ice auger. Like I said, we're not ice fishermen by any means. But, you know, it was a little bit of a learning curve at first. I was pushing down hard. It's more about just rocking the unit, getting it down through. Probably well, how, nine inches of ice, maybe. Yeah, back there was nine. Yeah. Here's probably about seven. Okay, so not bad. So. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. Yes, a little different background today. It's a temporary thing that's happening. Our TV broke, um, and we're redoing the logos and the signs for our Southwire. So we're just throwing this up. Probably be up for a few videos until we get it sorted out. But what does it say? Southwire Tools and Equipment, you guys. Member Southwire. Why? Because they're a great company, and they take care of their customers and we went down to Carrollton, Georgia and they're awesome. But today you guys let's talk about Ryobi, Royobi, which is from where? Home Depot. Home Depot, you guys. You can only get them at Home Depot. That's where you can get them at Home Depot. Now, this is the uh 40 volt or 8 inch earth auger. They earth. call it an earth auger. I have not seen any videos of anybody going through earth with this. Granted, we can't because we've had Three degree weather for probably I don't know how long now. For a long time. Yeah. So, so we actually just went through, through ice with this. Yeah. But like I said, we were talking earlier. You could probably do post holes. You know, post hole digger. Yeah, but you need a longer one maybe too. What's what I'm saying? See, it looks like this comes off. Right. So I'm wondering, can you see? Is there a way to actually? Maybe they've got longer ones on there. You yep, know? they do, Eric. So actually, it just takes like a standard one. A standard one fits. Yeah, you can put a post hole digger on it. So guys, there you go. Yeah, in the in the spring we'll try to dig a post hole. Obviously, we can't right now. Literally, there's nothing we can do unless we travel to another state. The ground is frozen. Everything is bad. So we went out on a frozen river and we went through. How many holes did you do? I think we did twelve holes with, with this. Um, went on the Fox River actually. Yeah. You what know? did I say? No, I'm just saying you just said a river. I'm just, you know. Oh, the Fox right. River. Like, nobody knows what the Fox River yeah, is. Yeah, there's a lot of people from Chicago who watch. I'm like, ah, oh, I know Fox River. Guess what? It goes up through Wisconsin. Do you know it goes all the way down to Louisiana? No, it goes to the no, Mississippi. It doesn't. Yeah, then it we're dumps, through. It know. dumps it into the Mississippi. I think it goes all the way up to Canada, though. I don't know how high it goes. It's got to go up pretty high, I would think. Yeah. Pretty far. It's pretty crazy, so, you guys. But, but we were is. able to do a lot of holes with it. What's the advantage of an ice fisherman using something like this? Well, you know. The other two alternatives you have would be either bring a cord all the way from your house out, which doesn't work, or actually gas. Gas, I feel, is a little bit heavier with the motor and all that. Plus, with it being cold out, if it's sitting around for a couple hours, it might be hard to start. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Man, I never thought of that, the hard to start part. Yeah. Yeah. With I mean, this, button and you go. Yeah. 
And uh, we were able to get like seven holes, was it? No, we went 12 holes. 12 we're holes. guessing it was about nine inches. It was closer to shore, it was about nine inches thick, maybe 10 inches thick. A little bit farther out is about seven or eight inches. Yeah, you know? still, it was thick ice, man. I mean, it's been zero around here for two, three weeks uh, on end. So for this thing to go through, it didn't stall on us at all once. Uh, we didn't get any crazy pulling of it because it does have an anti-torque function. Yeah, it's got an anti-torque, almost like a drill or something like that where it goes and it kicks and it's supposed to stop. It did bind up on me once, but it was really quick, and it was enough where I could easily could control it. But my finger went off the trigger, and it's fine. It's not. It's so much different than like a drill or a, 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 a rotary hammer or something. Yeah, like that. I mean they give you a wide berth to hold it, and then yes. also on this side right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's padded because that's a rotation. So when it hits your body, because you're gonna want to use your body to hold it, it's going to uh, basically, you know, use your body to keep it in position. Now, yeah. some other advantages of this is, is once you let go of that trigger, it stops. So have you ever seen ice augers just spinning around? I mean, most of them do that, but I've seen ice augers just spinning around. Okay. Like maybe the safety switch is broken. Okay. This has a safety switch, a high gear, and a reverse. So mm -hmm. you can reverse out of the hole. Uh, like Eric was talking about, quick disconnect right here. You just take this pin out and basically put on your earth digging auger bit and go to town. I think this will dig earth. I'm pretty sure it will. It's obviously... Uh, I think it will because it's got two different... One's almost like a blade down here and one's like serrated, serrated, yeah, serrated. serrated, serrated. I mean, granted, I don't yeah. know if that's the death depth you want you might be able to i mean what to build a deck you only go in like a foot it depends where you are no i mean like here in chicago i think you got a 46 inches below or 42 before below frost you have to go for a deck well if you're gonna put a foot in there and then you want a good deck yeah because nice. otherwise you can get that deck to pop up if you only go a foot down that concrete will actually move you'll get it to move that's why some of the decks you see around here You'll see them being wavy. Some will be, like, uh, one will be really yeah. high. Yeah, I mean, obviously depth is good in, in any kind of concrete. Man, I do have the perfect job for this. And in fact, the video we're doing next, the weather station, to put a pole in the ground would have been awesome with this. But again, you guys, the ground is frozen. I mean, do you think it'll go through frozen ground? Yeah, I would think. Yeah, because you know what we're doing? It's interesting. So with the ice, the first hole we did, Dan's like, I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to bog. He basically just held his whole weight down on it the whole time. It ran through it, you know? If you wanna go easier, we found it easier to kinda of rack it a little bit, almost like a spade bit, but I mean, it didn't bog down on you at all. I mean, if it goes through ice, why wouldn't it go through ground? We should, maybe we should I think the it. hard part is like if you hit, once you hit a rack or definitely, it's a lot, there's a lot of clay around here. This, is, I don't think it's, it's not gonna go through clay. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to just revisit it in the spring, unfortunately, for that uh, actual uh, situation. So, uh, things I didn't like about it, I just didn't like the grips, man. I just feel like the grips are slippery. I had a hard time keeping my gloves on there. Granted, I didn't have rubber gloves. They were just, I don't have them on me, but they were just knitted gloves, mm -hmm. and they just kept sliding, and I was just uncomfortable with it. I would like to see this rubber here, on the rest of the tool. I think that would have been a little better. Um, and also maybe a different way to carry it, an easier way to carry it, just to put I it over your honestly, shoulder. Honestly, when I started grabbing it here, that's pretty much the center point. Yeah. And it was easy, once you could, boom, you could pick it up and go. Yeah. I think when you're trying to carry it with two handles out in front, it's a lot harder. Right. Um, so who's this for? This is for the ice fisherman. This is for the homeowner that does uh, a few holes here and there. If you're a contractor, obviously this is Ryobi. Um, it's not really contractor grade, although we do see contractors that do use it. But uh, I think that, you know, if you're doing, you know, 10 posts or 100 holes a day every day because oh, yeah. you're a fence installer, you're definitely going to stick with gas, gas or, you know, vehicle implemented on the back there. Uh, but for the homeowner, I think this thing's awesome, dude, because a lot of guys just use drills out in the ice. You know, you're going to drill a lot smaller hole in that auger. But they burn out these drills, man, because mm -hmm. they just can't take it. It took a lot to get through that ice. It did, when you actually think about it, yeah. Yeah. We were out there a while, you know what I mean? But I felt like it drilled, I think we were kind of more messing around, because I felt like it drilled the hole pretty quick. What do you think to drill the one hole? Not the first hole, because that was totally different. The holes we did after that. We did three, four minutes per hole. You think that long? Yeah, I mean, it took yeah, a while, maybe. man. Okay. It took a while, you okay. know? Mm -hmm. Um... But again, you can't go wrong with Royal B. If you're already in their 40 volt lineup, this is a no brainer. Um, which they do have a lot of OPE, which is what outdoor power equipment, right? Yep. A lot of people don't know what OPE is. Um, so it's 
Yeah, the charge. I'm he's, not a big he's fan. He's laughing. Do you know? No, a lot of people don't know what OPE means. Like, the yeah. average consumer does I'm not. I'm not know. laughing at you. I'm okay. laughing because we were just talking about it, okay. and we both agreed that a lot of people don't know what OPE All is. All right, well, I'm so, just saying. I mean, no, fine. a lot of people don't know what OPE is. You know, it's outdoor power equipment. They have a lot in their 40 volt lineup in terms of string trimmers, mowers, hedgers, blowers, all sorts of different things. Yeah, I'd so like when to you see get this, you can expand. Though. I don't like those chargers. I'd never like any of the slide on chargers, not just Royal Obi. Yeah, other they, companies that have them, I don't like them. These are the kind of chargers that you just got to put on overnight, go to bed, and in the morning it'll be charged. But you know what? Hopefully they have for that is a 12 volt, the DC charger that goes into your truck or something. Because if you're going to be out fishing, you probably got a truck. Hey, I'm drawing holes tonight. I'm going to charge yeah, it. Yeah, but dude, you have to keep your truck on for that a lot of the times. So only older trucks will have power to 12 volt. Like, I know my Ford, you can't do it. You have to physically have it on. Oh, do you see mine? I can, I so can, for three I hours, if you keep my truck running, I might as well bought a gas one. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, because in my truck, you don't have to. I can actually just charge. Not oh, like, yeah. You know. Mine, you can't. The new okay. one, yeah. Isn't that crazy? You think the new ones would be like, okay, let's do it. The old ones, no. Yeah, I want power, access to power from it. It's weird, you know? But you guys, definitely thumbs up on this thing. It did what's advertised. Uh, as for dirt, we're going to have to revisit it for that. I can't tell you yes or no for dirt. They do call it an earth auger on Home Depot's website. Yeah. It is $299. The one you thing I would like to, sorry not to interrupt you, but the one thing I would like to see too is a bigger switch. Yeah, I didn't I'd have... Like, I, well, because it's just one finger. It's nice sometimes where you just... You know, if you want to move your hand in a little bit of a different position, you're pretty much stuck right in that spot. If you got a longer handle and you want to move it back a little bit, you'd be able to do it. Yeah, I get you. I mean, the biggest thing to me was the grips. They need rubber on them or something. Yeah. I'm sorry, what was the price in the warranty on? Two ninety nine. Is that uh, with the same, battery charger? Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah, but you can get a gas one for two seventy nine on Home Depot. Oh, you can? Yeah, I just looked it up. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, I mean, it's up to you, you guys. Battery technology is definitely taking over. I mean, battery, technically speaking, has more tor torque than gas. Um, it's just, do you want to be... The problem with this is, is with the gas, if you run out of gas, you just go get more gas, you know? Or most of them are two cycles, so you'd have to go get a mixture of gas. But with battery, it also, you know, once it's dead, it's dead. Mm -hmm. There's no bringing it back. There's no getting that last second unless you go plug this charger in. Uh, I don't know if they do have faster chargers for the Ryobi 40 volt lineup. Be nice to see. But again, I'm with Eric. You really can't go wrong with Ryobi, you guys. And I know a lot of people, first thing you say when you Ryobi, it's garbage, it's junk. Why is it junk? Because it's affordable? Because it works? You know what I'm saying? Just because it doesn't have the latest features of the Milwaukee, it's not Gen 37 of, you know, the yeah, right. auger. You know what I'm saying? This does the job. And in the in the world of, uh, I don't want to say cheap tools, but in the world of entry-level tools, Railby's one of the top ones. I don't know who competes with them at all. No. Honestly, when it comes to value. Yeah. What? Value, line size. I can't. What other, because I know it definitely it's not Craftsman. I know it's not Porter Cable. Um, Cobalt's not. Yeah. Um, I, mean, who, I can't think of any who, homeowner brand that offers you the value that Royal does. Even Harbor Freight, their the Bauer size. line doesn't. Right. You know, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of that, that Bauer stuff is powerful. It's probably more powerful than Royobi a little bit in certain areas. It is, but it doesn't have but, the amount of tools in it. Though. Yeah, it doesn't have the That's amount of tools. Downside. Plus, Royobi has the HP lineup now. And the greatest thing about, and we're not paid by Home Depot currently. Yes, we've had advertisers in the past with them, but we're not paid right now. We can say they suck, don't ever shop there, whatever. But honestly, I love shopping at Home Depot, and I, that's why I buy something from Home Depot, because I know Home Depot stands behind their products. I know if I buy this thing, I take it out to the ice, and it breaks, you know, I'm just going to take it back to Home Depot and either get another one or get a credit back or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're going to stand by that product. I mean, within their alert their time but you know their time period is more than 30 days i think it's like 90 days is it really i think so don't quote me comment below is it 90 days it might have just been one time when i was returning something or some certain thing but it was like a 90 day return i was impressed i was like what yeah that's crazy speaking of home depot the one thing i don't like is the installers from home depot installers i've had nothing but problems whether it's been carp whether they've had carpet installed for me whether they've had a um Stolen well, stuff. Here's the thing. But they use subcontractors. It's not yeah. their people. Right. And that's a that's a tough thing to do because if you sell that, you have to offer the install service. You have to. Right. Because you can't say, hey, go try to install this carpet yourself. You know? Right. And they just bid out to uh, you know local contractors. I'm sure they vet them. You know they have to oh, have certain insurance yeah, and stuff like do. that. But when you're with these contractors, you know they could have come and done Eric's carpet and they would have made thousand dollar profit. Instead, they took the Home Depot and they're making six hundred dollar yes. profit. So you don't tend exactly. to get that, you know, 
uh, maybe that's why it's like, oh, I want to make it 600, you know. Honestly, I've never had a problem with any of Home Depot services. The one thing, only thing I don't like about Home Depot is when you're checking out, man. Is like with all the COVID stuff going the on. The checkout's the is worst. Is the checkout, yeah. The checkout with the, uh, you get the gun. Why are you picking up a gun? I don't get it. Can you put it on a stand, please, so I can just hold the product underneath it? Well, because what they did is at my, uh, my Home Depot in my town, they actually had that where you could actually scan it. Then it was probably about three months right before COVID. They brought those guns in. And even at the time, I'm thinking, like, I don't like it. And I'm not a germphobe. I really don't even care. But at the same time, I'm like, probably 30 people have touched this. One of the people, I'm sure, was picking their nose or doing something. And now I'm grabbing that gun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about grabbing a gun. But I do like their self-checkouts. Their self-checkouts compared to other ones are pretty good. They don't, don't give like you that take you the can product take out that. of the bag, take the product, no. un unidentified product. It I used don't to mind be like it. a jewel is really bad at that, but you know I don't I think like Home Depot is fast when it comes to that. I just don't like picking up of the gun. I'm buying stuff from you. You can check it out, not me. Yeah, and since we're going on a Home Depot rant, I mean, dude, I love Home Depot. I, oh, I recommend yeah. it to everybody. I will shop there every day. But yeah, they have. So there's just these are just the issues. My second thing is, dude, buying online with a gift card was painful. I mean, literally painful. I had like a three hundred dollar gift card for my life proof flooring, and I bought those two Milwaukee Impacts, dude. It was like the most painful experience. You go to Amazon, da -da -da, click, it's done. Yes. Here, it was like, yes. oh my gosh, every two minutes. Put in your card number, okay. Then it said, oh, warning, you can't do this. This has to get shipped to the store. This, said, Dude, how about, here's my card number, here's my credit card number, ship it to my address. Oh no, you can't do that. This is shipped to store only. Yes. Or this is, you know, this is one day delivery for $8.99 only. What? Why is it $8.99 only, dude? I'm buying products. You have them at a warehouse. Just ship them. I tried to buy, I bought a nail gun and I wanted nails in there. I could get one, but I couldn't get both. I'd have to go, to, it was to Addison to go pick it up. The other one could be shipped to Home Depot. It was the weirdest thing, like you said. Yeah. If, just put it in my cart. You figure out a way to get it to my house. Yeah, and I mean, you know, we've, uh, we've Home Depot's great. We've talked to them before, and you know, their goal is to, they want to be the Amazon. They want to beat Amazon at their game, you know? But unfortunately, no one can come close to Amazon, especially with that. I mean, literally, I dread buying anything on Home Depot online now because I'm like, oh, I don't want to go through that. I don't, even, I don't even do it. I won't do it. You know? Yeah, with Amazon, it's one click. I would love for Home Depot to have my credit card, have my information, what's your username, what's your password. I want these two drills. Okay, click. It would be even Second better. day free air delivery, done. If okay. you just actually integrated Amazon checkout with Home Depot because then I can just use all the same stuff. That'd be even better. I agree with you there, but... Man, does Home Depot want to do that? Then you're giving all your data to Amazon, and Amazon's a pretty ruthless company. They're going to be like, hmm, let's learn from Home Depot, learn how they do it, figure it out ourselves. Then we're going to become a hardware store online. Not my problem. No. Just, just make it easier yeah. for me. That's and all I care dude, about. The high ups at Home Depot, if you're yeah. watching, do not get in bed with Amazon like that. They will screw you. Really? Why yeah. have you had it happen to you? No, I just know oh. how Amazon operates. They just want everything of their own. I mean, look at Why would you not if you're They're getting company? rid of their shipping companies. They're getting rid of, you know, look at FedEx. They don't want to use FedEx anymore. They don't want to use UPS. They don't want to use, they're buying their own vans. I mean, yeah, they bought their own airplanes. Why they, not, though? I mean, you're building they do your own it to business. You have the whole logistics of the whole thing. Why not to actually get the shipping part Dude, of it? Dude, I'm telling you, if we invented this and we put it online, we sold it on Amazon, it was one of their hot sellers. Oh, yeah. Within six months, there'd be an Amazon basic version, which is exactly the same, and they'd be pushing that, and we'd lose sales. It's just like that's the, why we didn't invent that. That's the only reason we didn't invent that. I know. That. It's like the same thing the Goliath thing, like back in the days when uh, Craftsman, that Gator loggerhead Gator tool, the guy was selling them like crazy, and Craftsman was like, yeah, we're just going to rebuild one in China and sell it and just screw the guy. You know what I'm saying? That's how Amazon is, you know? And I'm not sticking up for so Amazon. So then you support Amazon by buying through them. So you support that behavior. Right. But yeah. Unfortunately, okay. they're the easiest. They have great returns, this and that. I mean, Home Depot, that's what I want. I just want ease of use. I just want to be able to click. I want these too. I, you know, I'm the consumer. I don't need to worry about it's available at this store. It's available there. You're Home Depot. You have warehouses. You have it at this store. Whatever. Get it shipped. This same day delivery for $8.99 or next day delivery only on certain tools. I don't want any of that. I just want like Amazon Prime. If I buy it, it's free ship it. If it arrives in three or four days, that's fine. I don't care. Just ship it for free. Speaking of that, have you seen the Lowe's distribution center up there in Rockford? It's huge. Wow, that thing's I know. it almost blows away that Amazon one that's over there on 94. Yeah, oh, I don't know if that's Wisconsin, it's right by the Wisconsin Illinois border. That's huge there, but that, that Lowe's one is absolutely mammoth. I actually didn't have a problem when we bought those Jeeps online for Lowe's. That was that, not a problem. Oh, yeah, I bought a couple things through Lowe's and I've never had a problem. Yeah. I just, you know what, it is. It's just 
I got Home Depot by me. That's what I'm just used to going Dude, to. Dude, I love Home Depot. I love the people that work there. I love how they operate. I love their, you know, the whole, th everything about Home Depot I love. And I, granted, I love Lowe's and Menards too. Like you said, they're just not biased. But Home Depot just does it awesome. In store, brick and mortar. They got some work to do online, but. Uh, and guys, if you don't, if you haven't been following us, this is what we do. We talk about one thing, and then we always get sidetracked. We yeah. always, get, we always like, get wound up about something else, or new, something else, you know. Yeah, new people to the channel are like, oh, well, we only get like one new person a month. <laughs> but that new person is probably like, man, it came for an ice auger. Now yeah. I'm hearing all about, hey, dude. Now I don't know where to shop. Do I shop Amazon? Do I shop Home Depot? What do I do? Where do I go? Dude, when you go to your friends, you hang out, you talk about your new ice auger. Is that all you talk about? Like a sales pitch? No, you talk to your friends, you hang out. That's what we're doing. We're just hanging out, talking tools, and uh, personally, I give this thing very high ratings, and I give high, Home Depot high ratings. Out of five, what would you give it? Um, well, out of a five, I would probably give it like a 4.5, because it does everything that it says. I haven't tried it in the dirt yet. Um, the only downfall I would say to it is I, I would like to see a faster charger, but I think that will bring up the cost. It would be awesome if this thing could charge in an hour. Yeah, that would be nice. That you would know? Be nice. I mean, I don't they know. They have to, but I'm hours. trying to think. The OPE stuff, does it come with that too? The 40 volt charger? I think it no, comes with that. No, they have a too. slide on for the, that. Do I they think. really? Yeah. Okay. It's always weird, you guys. I mean, you know, different platforms scare me a lot. I'm not going to lie. Different platforms. Like, Milwaukee's got that different platform. What's that different platform with the MX? MX. Yeah. Like, that scares me, you know? It's like, dude, I'm used to M18, you know? You know, they got that new generator out now that uses the MX battery. Well, why'd you alienate all the M12 or M18 people? Why can't I put, like, like Eagle, four M18 batteries on there and run it? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I think that that, you know, and that's, that's Milwaukee thing. Granted, the MX line is, you know, the echelon of lines. You know, it's for, they got the big jackhammer and stuff like that. I mean, I haven't used it. I don't know if, you know. No. What else is on your mind, though? What else is on my mind? A lot, Eric. A lot. Yeah. Peace out, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you stuck around, you know. Mike Z, we know you're there. Logan. Um, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. No, the boys are there. Hashtag TA crew, wherever you got it. Peace. I'm all over on this hole, man. No, that's how they, what, it, I can feel it. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Oh, that was a cool one. That was cool.